Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back. Welcome to Port Destiny, episode three of Subsistence. And of course, it starts raining the moment I start recording. We are moved over here. We have a little, uh, almost box. We got the VCU made in the last episode. Let's go ahead and get that put up. I guess we can put it here for now. Because we want to make, as soon as we have the power, our base is now online. We want to make the wood burner so we don't have to spend so much on fuel. Because it takes a lot to keep that campfire going. Let's go ahead and eat all the veggies that we can. We're going to let this build up with it not being a very good day. It's a very crappy day out today. We might not be able to get a whole lot of that done. Um, let's go ahead and put you in with a fishing rod. I guess I'm going to have to use you one more time. Ugh, it's painful. Let's ignite that. Let's go ahead and get our proteins up. You can go in there. You can go in there for once we get that done. Got some more fish tackle done. We got a few base pieces getting processed. We did get our free lockpick, as you just saw, out of here. First person to make a VCU, if you're playing on multiplayer, gets a free lockpick. And the first person to put it up on single player, which would only be me, of course. I didn't have to say that, I guess. Gets a free lockpick. So let's go ahead and start expanding out this way in the next few days hunters will start moving into the world fantastic that's just what we wanted but they have really good loot that we actually really do want so i'm not going to complain let's grab this crate since oh that's a good one it's right here let's not go too far from our food because it will burn and then we gotta recycle it and turn it into mass later on but we need the protein right now so that is much more important there we go we're probably going to have to eat all of those just to get our proteins back up. We'll go looking for kelp momentarily. Let's get that put away. Let's get you put away. Um, Let's see. We got five. I don't want to hit the wrong button. So let's start going. That's going to be our front patio area. So we'll start bringing our house out this way. So yeah, this will be front patio, which will also probably expand out maybe that way yeah, we'll work it out we'll figure it out generally don't have a plan when i first start building in subsistence the plans come later as you build and realize oh i can move this here and i can move that there uh can i get you to fit there without me uh that looks backwards from that one i well that's gonna be reversed Yeah, I want them to all at least have the beams on the inside or the outside, but not both. Let's run around our island real quick and then let's head out. We need to get us some more tasty noms and more crates for the day. Which way do we want to go is the next question. Oh, got a pickaxe made. We did do a couple days in game um, without y'all. I wasn't planning on it. I was recording, but I was having some serious lag spikes. But I tried to switch my recording software, software to 1080p and not 720p. It's causing me some lag spikes, not in the game, but the recording is picking up lag spikes that I'm not seeing until after I start editing and rendering. So I had to jump it back down to not 1080p because for whatever reason, my software is not liking that. And I would rather have a clear 720. Oh, I want that. Uh, can we get that? Yeah, we might take a little health damage, but we're going to need a lot of pros later. Clear 720 versus a laggy, skippy 1080. I gotta, my son's gonna help me after the grandbaby goes home this weekend, figure out how to get it to stop doing that. Oh my goodness, I am really uh, risking it. Ooh, yeah, that's super far down. A risk I should not have taken. Get that out of your hand. Swim! Like your little life depends on it, because it does know we could go stand by the campfire and get our health back. Oh! But I think we're just gonna risk it and go out into the world, because what well, could go wrong in subsistence, right? It's an easy peasy game. Nothing to fret. Oh, why can I not? Okay. So we're going to need that for glass. Let me have it. I'm never going to be down here too long again. Because you wouldn't let me have my sandstone. Yep. Now we're going to take more damage. It's fine. If you see me in any game that I have to breathe in, I always struggle on remembering to go up and breathe in time. It's a thing. It's going to happen. There's some more kelp there. I do want that because we do need veggies right now. I also want to get some antidotes made, but I don't think we're ready quite yet to make the shoddy. We might have the stuff, but do we have the ammo? We need to find more crates. And if we 
come across a locked crate. We got that on us now, too. So that's fantastic. This... No, no. Okay. I was going to say, this feels like something somewhere that I'm building, or was building in our streaming world, but no, it is not. Because there's no island in that one. I would have remembered that. Let's go ahead and we need to be grabbing some wood. Keep that fire soaked tonight. We should have enough power by tonight, hopefully, to make the wood burning stove. Because then we can leave our stove all day long, come home, and it won't be burnt out like it will be now. It's very, very wasteful in the campfire, so you want to get away from that as soon as possible. There is the evil eagle that steals my fish when I go fishing. Him is rude. I understand he's got babies to feed, too, but I got myself to feed. Sorry, I can't resist following the plant fiber trail. That used to be what led you to super good loots in this game. I don't feel like it is anymore, but... Maybe it was just coincidence. Okay, let's go look for some more crates over to this side. I am going to be grabbing all the ore because we're going to be needing it later on. Once we get the refinery up. Which doesn't really take that long to get to. Let's grab you. Let's grab some more wood. I like to hit up a tree every now and then when we're running around. I asked everybody in episode one if you wanted to... If I needed to grind in between episodes and you just saw, like, the fun stuff. Like, clips of me opening up lock crates or... Um, just the building. And expansions. And only one person voted, so thank you very much. But she said she wanted to see, like, the everyday life. So... Because that was the one request, that is what we were going to do. Like I said, I was trying to record episode 3 and 4 when I was doing the grind. Getting us prepped to get across the island and... I'm not seeing any aminals. I mean, granted, it is a stormy, stormy day. I, get, I like to get a bunch of resources gathered before I go into a building frenzy so I can get a bunch done. Just doing one piece every now and then just seems kind of pointless to me. I don't know if y'all are like me, and once I get into build mode, I don't want to stop building. Until I get whatever's in my head. Built. Sometimes it comes out horribly, but then you can adjust it, move it around, and make it all pretty. Like, I much prefer the second streaming base we're making versus the first one. I did not like the first one at all, but it was my first time ever building in the game. I've played quite a few hours, like, I think 80. But my husband was always the builder previously, so... I just ran around and got all the things and killed the people. Never got to the underwater caves before. That'll be new if we get that far. It just depends on y'all. So if you want to see more of this series and you've got to get in the likes and the comment fields and let me know. Or at least tap the like button. We did hit the minimum requirement on episode one. So I'll get episode two up. And we are still streaming this world on the multiplayer co-op. So... At least I think we are. I haven't streamed all week because I had three days of migraine and now we have the grandbaby coming in today for the weekend, so. No streams until Sunday afternoon, early evening, whenever our son actually decides to pick her up, even though the rule is noon. But I've reminded him. He's either to be here by noon or the pickup time becomes 7 a.m. And I don't think he wants to try and make that. I mean, he lives an hour and a half away, so that would be horrible, but... We keep her all weekend long. Our only request is on Sunday, have her picked up by noon so that I can get into my stream and try and, you know, do my channel, which is my job. And hubby can get a few hours of R&R &R before he goes back to work on Monday. I think it's because that was always our babysitter's rules. No matter who had our kids, it was always next day by noon. That was the pickup time. So it just kind of it made sense to us. We never missed the pickup time because, you know, you don't want people to be like, I'm not watching him again because... You can't make it on time. Paul will start treating it like daycare and start charging him by the minute that he's late. Of course, you know, he's going to call us out because we are the grandparents. So he's going to be like, well, are you just going to not watch her anymore? He knows I would never do that. So I think that's why he's trying his luck. Might have to go home, stand by the fire, and wait for daylight come. They like come and me won't go home. Now I want to go watch Beetlejuice. Yeah, we had a yesterday was hubby's birthday and we watched the new Top Gun. We watched the old Top Gun again, the new Top Gun, the new Jurassic World Dominion, which was really very disappointing. I must say, Top Gun was amazing, the new one. But the new Jurassic World was 
nothing. Like, even half as good as all the others. Oh, I was a little sad. I'm like, I spent $20 buying you for his birthday present, and you were awful horrible. I mean, it wasn't awful horrible, but it was nothing like Jurassic World. I was disappointed, and so was he. And then, of course, he had to watch his all-time favorite movie, Days of Thunder, so... I had to tough that one out and try to stay awake when it was already, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's like one movie I, I can't stay awake through because he's watched it at least a thousand times. He can recite the entire movie beginning to end, word for word. So it is rough. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Well, I'm not going to sleep through the night because I'm sleeping in this game, but I'm going to fish through the night, wait till daylight, and I'll bring you all back. Every time I start recording, it's going to do that. Sometimes the fish are just a pain in the butt. Do we have enough? Oh, this way. I probably should move it. We do. Let's go ahead and... Oh, cloth, planks. I think we have all that. Wrong side. Uh, we do. Cloth, planks. I don't remember if it was those or those. So I'm going to grab them both. Uh, wood burner. Super important. First thing to get, in my opinion. Because like I said, you are going to need a lot of wood for building. And it sucks when you have to spend it all on the fire. Let's go ahead and get a fuel brick. And then we'll get some more, just to save some of the wood. I'd rather use it on fuel. Let's go ahead and get a drink. And let's eat that apple. Fill up that canteen again before we head out. Put our fishing rod up in the... And the tackle. Shouldn't take long for that to get done. Or for our stove to get done. I need to move it. I'm never going to remember that it's on the left side. Uh, let's go five... You can go right here for now. And let's do a fuel brick. Oh, no. Let's do a fuel brick in the right place. Get those put in. And then we need to cook that and that. You are going to go over there. You Swap spots. Uh, we need a fire starter. So we need one of these. Oh, I think I need two. Ooh. I just made those into... Yeah, I only have one. That's okay. There should be some more over here. And then we need one of these. And two sticks. Yeah. Two of those. There should be one more. There's usually plant fiber all over the place here. Yep, right there. Anything else? Oh, yep. Oh, happy home crate. Oh, they love us. It means it's going to be a good day. Band-aids, feathers, and nails. Who could ask for more? Oh, and there's some copper up there, too. I can't say no. It might not be here when we get back. And this is going to be so important later on in the game. And when you need it, you can't find it. So you might as well collect it as you see it, in my opinion. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a fire starter. Uh, that can get put up. That can get put up, and so can that. Let that get done. We'll get this cooked up now. We can start rendering our fat, too. Do we have any? We got a little bit. Okay. You can go in there and ignite. Let's throw you in there. Let this cook up, and then we'll put these in. Let them cook up, and then we will head out for the day. I'll bring y'all back once everything's cooked. And welcome back. I think I got everything off of here. Sorry, I had to do, like, a cut to go clean out the pool before I forgot and oh it is muggy out today I think I wanted to stay inside where it's nice and cool although when Peanut gets here that's not going to be an option it's like the one place she gets to spend the entire weekend outside so she does not like being inside when she's over at Go-Go and Pop-Pops sometimes it's a blessing other times it's a curse because we can run her ragged she'll be all sleepy for night but oh it's hot out there I think it's only like 86 today, but the humidity is like 95%. It is ridiculous. This is our drop chest that I have here, just in case we are full. We need to drop stuff off and then head right back out and not have to go all the way across. We, I think the first thing I'm going to do before we even build is do some type of bridging, just to kind of save time on the day-to-day. -day. We actually really do need you, Bunny. Not only for your cloth, but for your noms. To be fair, I'm not a fan of rabbit. Kind of cooked all sorts of different ways. It's just not appealing to me. I mean, I haven't had it recently since I can't have meat cooked on the bone, and there's really not an easy way to cook rabbit meat off the bone since it's such a small thing. I do like dove, though. Mm, bacon wrapped dove. 
Super yummy. What do we got in here? Planks, electronics. Is that what those are called? Electrical components. I was so close. I had the elect. I <laughs> just didn't have the ending properly. Ay vey. Adios, mija. Oh, two more crates here. I will take them. We need to find us a lock crate. We need to find us a bunch more noms. Because those rabbits and chickens really don't do much for you. Also, oh. Did we pick up that scrap metal that was down there on the beach? I think we did. Let's grab you. We will get animal housing, but not until we have a good stock of fruit and veggies. I usually do the planter pretty quickly. Once I got eight seeds of anything, we start planting. Uh, nothing else up this way. That's our home. Let's start going this way. I actually don't know this part of the map. It's one that I'm not familiar with at all. So I, like, don't know where the good crate spawns are, like I do where we live on the streaming world. Oh, well. Apparently it's not a bad one, though. We just gotta figure out where locked crates spawn. So that seems to be, like, the general vicinity they stay in. Not in the exact area, but they stay close to where you find them each time. Just a matter of finding one and remembering about where it was so you can look around that area every couple of days. I would love to get our first lockpick on day what, four in game? Also, we are out of grubs, so we need some more of those for fish tackle. And we need to start hitting up some trees anyway. So we can make more planks, have more firewood. All the good stuff. Okay, what do we got down here? Get that out of my face, please. Got some berries there. Crate down there, Wolfie there. Bear on that side. Nothing's really calling to me up there. Not even any ore, so I think I'm going to go after that crate. I could use the wolf. Oh, let's see how we do with the pistol. Nailed it. Three shots, you're out of there. Hey, we get a liver now. We can just get kelp. I generally don't even worry about getting antidotes on the fly until we have a refrigerator because the kelp DK timer is so incredibly fast. I think realistically it's way too fast. Like, no fruit and veggies spoil that fast. They just don't. I'll just grab this crate, then we need to get some more wood. Like, by the time you get the kelp out of the water, it's already almost halfway decayed. It's crazy. Let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll one to the water. One to the water. Yeah, I know how to say ours. We'll go to the water and wash our hands. We got a little bit of time before we get infected, so... I've actually not gotten infected from not washing my hands before. Like, I have if I ate with my hands nasty, but just running around with them dirty, I have not. So, somebody will have to let me know, is that a thing, or... Is it just don't eat with your hands dirty? I'll definitely not pass this up, though. Hello, beautiful. I think it's potassium and iron. Oh, no, zinc. Which that's fine, because we need that, too. Don't fall, please. That should be iron. Yes, that is iron. Uh, let's hit up a couple more trees. I see you, bear. I'm going to let you do your bear things. I am not ready to fight you. No way, Jose. I just need to go ahead and finish reloading this, though. I'm gonna do a swing! My plant fiber, you can't have it! Oh, I see another crate. Now we just gotta get George off our tail. Oh, two crates. Uh, we'll run him. Um, we'll go around in circles. He should get bored with chasing his food pretty soon. See? Bored with his food. And that deer's like, nope! Not today, Satan! Watch, I'm gonna say that and he's gonna come out of nowhere and be like, CHOMP! There's some scrap metal here. What am I hearing? There's another crate up there. Oh, there you are. Okay, let's run you this way. Come over here, buddy. Because I really want all these crates. I don't approve of you getting in me way. I really don't want to take a bear out with a pistol. It's a pain. And it takes a lot of ammo that I just don't have. 
Oh, you got bored too quickly. I need on top of that hill. That mount. That rock! Words! I might just have to say, this is not our crate today! Yeah, he's guarding it. Yep, he's guarding it. Okay, never mind. You can have that crate, George. Fair enough. I will stop poking the bear, so to say. There's plenty more crates to be had. Um, there's a wolfie. Ooh! Plenty more butts to swipe at. I heard that. I felt the brisk air from under your claws. Okay, you're done chasing. Can we get the other crate, or is that wolf guarding it? I can kill the wolf. It's getting sneaky mode. Dur -dur -dur. Oh, no. He's still following. He's not, like, running, but he is not happy, and he's making sure we get out of his cratey area. Not cool, George. You can't claim both crates. Oh, there's another one up here. We'll get this one, hit up that grub tree, and then circle back around for the crate by the wolf, because he should have left by then. Should have lost interest. I don't know why he insists on guarding all the crates, as if he is the king of the cr I mean, to be fair, he really is. Until we get better weapons, at least. For now, we will go back to grubs, because grubs are easy. And grubs will not kill us, unless you're hitting a grub tree guarded by a bear. Then you just might die trying to get a grub. Okay, you're watching over... You know what? I might not even waste the ammo. But we could use the stakes if he gives us any. I don't even see the crate now. Oh yeah, it's right there. Yep. Oh, I broke my arrow. Got you that time. This is not what I wanted. Ooh, that was a close one. I never finished reloading before I switch. Let's reload all the way. Let's be prepared. Sorry, Wolfie. But A, I need biofuel. We're gonna need a ton of that for the generator later. And B, you are standing in the way of this beauty right here. Oh, thank you for giving me two of the three bullets I used back. I appreciate that game when you're looking out for me. I feel like you look out for me more in single player than you do in multiplayer. I go days and days and days in that game without finding a single crate. But boy, I got like hundreds and hundreds of fuel bricks and plant fibers. Those I don't ever go without. I have an insane amount of scrap metal too. I think it's RNG, though, for how things spawn in. Another crate down her. Hello, pretty! A medic crate. Blueberries, cotton seed, and some gunpowder? Ammo casings, my bad. Oh, we need to be hitting up some trees. I keep forgetting to do that. I'm so good about that, too. I don't know why I'm forgetting today. Oh, one more. My bad. Oh, there's some more ore there. We're not going to break our pickaxe. We're going to save it for the mass. The recycler for mass once we get that in. It'll give it just a couple more mass, though. And that might be the key to getting something made that we needed. I'd rather use it for mass than break it, and I can't use it for anything. Okay, got that. What else do we got? time of day is it? Uh, yeah, we got some time left. Kind of sort of is at the wrong time of the day, this episode. Try and make it like one episode's a whole day cycle. Now we're into overtime and it's still midday. But I mean, we got our wood burner up today. We got some good loots. I'm quite happy with that. How many nails? 26 nails. Okay. Not happy with that. That's a horrible nail day. So we must continue our search. Grab some more wood. See a crate over there. Molly, he'll be home soon. Dog is crying because Dad just left. Um, by soon, I mean later tonight. Uh, shoddy ammo, another arrow. I will happily take all of that. Oh, there's some scrap metal up there. I when I first started playing this game, I couldn't see where anything was. It's like after so long your eyes just start adapting to seeing things from further away. At least in my opinion. How full are we? Oh, we still got a whole line. We're good. Just don't find a lock crate now. That would be sad. 
It's usually when I find them, though, is when I'm almost full. Okay, let's start getting some planks going. We have one on our inventory, so it's not going to take up an extra spot. And I don't like to not be crafting as I'm moving, so I feel like I'm wasting time when I get back to my base. And you gotta sit there and just wait for things to craft. And that's just boring. It's almost as boring as fishing. When the fish are not biting, oh, it takes forever. I'm trying to have a lot more better, a lot more better, a lot better luck uh, fishing right at sunrise versus in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, I hear you, Chuck. I don't see you, but I hear you. Laughing at me. Where do you go when you go? We can start cycling back to the house. We're circling back to the house. We're not on a bike. In case you didn't know. That's not a thing. We got a couple steaks. There's a bear getting a sip of water. We also still have more time before we lose day, and we got more room. Um, let's go ahead and eat that before it goes bad. Let's get our veggies up. And... We need more protein, but we don't have any cooked. Yeah, one more before it goes bad. There, oh, there's a crate way over yonder. Leave me alone, bear. I should have gone up higher. I know, I know. Don't yell at me in the comments. Mistakes were made. Oh, he's not that interested. This is my crate now, George. Oh, okay. You can have the next one that spawns there. Maybe, possibly, probably not. Oh, there's a bunny here and I can't stop because George is on our six. He's done chasing. He got bored. Oh, there's another crate up here. Oh, bunny. So many things! Which one do we go for first? Always the bunny. I'm sorry, don't squeak so sadly. Oh, I can't put you in animal habitat because I don't have it yet. I mean, we could make it, but I think we have to get more power storage and stuff before we can craft that. If I remember right, which I may or may not. But we do not have the veggies to feed them, so. Ah, oh, I missed. I should have slowed down. Right in front of him. Where did that crate go? Isn't it right over here? And it's this grub tree that we already got today. No, it is not. Yay! Three grubs in one day. Hitting all the trees up. How you doing, grub tree? I know there was a crate over here. I know, I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw one. I'll grab all the medicinal herbs so we can turn that into biofuel, should we need to. Uh, there's some more plant fiber over there. Maybe it despawned, or maybe I went to the wrong... Oh, there it is. I seize it! I'll get the crate before I get the ore. Oh, yay. More bullets. Oh, that's probably the last thing we're going to get with this pickaxe. Do not want to risk breaking it. I would rather just craft up a new one, which I probably can do. Uh, we need to start making some rope. I'll just turn all but four of those into rope so that we still have something to make fire starters. Probably should make a few fire starters before we... I mean, all the plant fiber we find pretty much everywhere, for whatever reason. Our home is that way. I guess we can walk the beach, see if we find any more crates. Go home, cook up some tasty noms, do some night fishing. Get aggravated over how slow it is. That's why y'all don't come with me for that. A, it's boring. And it takes quite a while, so... Better I do that on my own. I'm just going to hit up every tree from here to home. It's a great place to stay subsistent, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, do the change you wish to see in the world. Later, y'all.